everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So last episode with the Duelist, we took on a uh, um, a pack hunter, got a couple pieces of that. And so that's actually pretty good. Those are sitting in the mech bay right now. Hopefully we can pick up another piece of a pack hunter. We'd like to be able to assemble that for the Royals, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But today uh, we're going to have a quick look in the barracks first before we get started. There's a couple of pilots have some skills or some uh, points to spend for the, on their skills. So, so Dragon, um, we've got enough points now to get, to, uh, get his gunnery up. I think we're going to do that. And I think we're going to go focus fire for him. Um, yeah, for the improved called shot, reduced recoil. Going to go that route. I was thinking about taking piloting, but we were just holding off. We just had enough. We advanced the, uh, the timeline yesterday by, I think it was like a day, I think. Something like that, hoping to get that um, the pilot that was uh, in that last mission, but we never did, and we got enough points now to get the uh, to get gunnery. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that, Training. and then um, we've got. I know there's. I think it's Dragon, Receiving you. or not Dragon. I uh, talk about. I mean, good to go. Um, Waiting for orders. What now? Yeah, so Tugboat's got enough points to get gunnery up, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to worry about guts the next point. We want to get better uh, targeting as best we can on her. Uh, Vragio's okay, and Wrangler, we're good to go. All right, so let's go to the command center. We've got a mission here for Wolf we can pull off. It's against Jade Falcon. Uh, I'm interested to see. It's a one skull. It was a toss-up between taking the one for the local government against the Jade Falcon, Falcon captured base or grabbing the one skull for Clan Wolf against the local brigands, Jade Falcon. So I'm hoping that there's only one lance here, or one uh, point, or whatever you want to call it. So there's only five mechs. But we'll see how this goes. I, I really hope it's only one lance. But we're going to take this one today. So let's negotiate that. And we're going to go probably full out salvage. Because I think it would be silly not to. It's nice that we picked up a Clan XL engine in that, uh, that last uh, mission, though for the duelist. Um, maybe we can get one here today too. So let's go with load. And we want to load royals. So we'll go down there and apply. That should get us in. We've got the hunter. I think that's... Oh man, it's been so long since I recorded, like I mentioned in the last episode. I record, recorded the duelist and this one back to back. I'm trying to remember now. We didn't get another vehicle, did we? I'm pretty sure we didn't, but I better double check because going up against the clans, I don't want to go in shorthanded if we don't have to. Uh, I just wanted to double check here. So we do have enough to put together an urban mech. Which you don't really care about, and that's a, that's it. Okay. We could put together an Arrow 4 Irby. That'd be kind of cool, but uh, right now we don't need it. Um, so let's go here. The missling skin is going to be nice when it gets back. Um, so where are we here? Right here. Right? Yep. That's the one. Negotiate. Full salvage. Accept. And then we go load. First we want to clear. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm pretty sure this is the right lance, right? Yeah, we don't have anybody subbed in. Nope. Uh, we do. No. We don't. Alright, let's go. Uh, I know the thorns are under under tonnage by one quarter. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. So lance detected here, eh? Oh, and they got a support lance because, of course, they do. Oh man, this is going to be brutal. Uh, it, I guess it really depends on what they have. Hopefully, the support lance is a half lance. Um, so I'm pretty sure we can get down here. Maybe not. So we go here, we're forced along this route. There's nothing, nowhere back here we can drop. So it's either we drop up here. We've got a lot of short range weapons, so that's not going to help us. So, um,. Yeah, well, this is not the ideal map for this. Two to one odds at, at the worst here, so let's find out. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully that Goss, Goss rifle lands a lot of shots. Okay, sound like a vehicle? I mean, we, the last time we played a match here, it wasn't too bad. We were outnumbered and we managed to pull it off. It's really going to come down to um, what we're up against. I'm really hesitant to move up like this, but I got to find out. What we can see here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Zephyr, Scorpion, Scorpion, Palemos, Sentinel, Sentinel, Great, Incubus, Pegasus, Corona, Stormcrow. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be fun. Um. Copy that. Firing Alpha Strike. All right, let's just try and claim as many of them as we can. Oh, we missed a guy up here. Clint 2C. Probably running an Ultra. Yes, Commander. All right. So we want to keep our right side as much as we can to the enemy. Aye, aye. Okay, just gonna try and get an early kill here if we can. Right. Nice. Mech destroyed. So the support lance only has four. So the maximum they could have is fourteen. Receiving you. So I guess that's an air strike. The circle, or is that our drop circle? Left over. <sighs> so they've added, I'm not sure if you've seen the Rogue, Rogue Tech Forum, they've added airstrikes. I know into higher skull matches, I, did, I didn't think it would be in this one. So airstrikes can now happen. They'll call them in. They, they highlight a large area of the map um, uh, denoted by flares. I'm not going to bother firing at the low percentage chance to hit. We've got to make sure we land everything on this one. So they'll fire or they'll drop flares down in the line where the airstrike's going to happen. And then the, I think it's like a turn or two turns the airstrike will happen. All right. I wonder what you. Damage looks light, Commander. Two C. Yes, Commander. Some kind of artillery piece. Get in the trees. I'm interested to see what that storm crow is running. That's going to be the bane of our existence in this fight. We need to pull as many guns off the field as early as possible. Um, so we've got. 240, which is like, what, eight, 16 turns of firing with the LRMs. So it's not too bad. 4.7 on the Clint, 14. What about these guys back here? The blue lines. Come on. Give me the blue lines. 8.5 on the Pegasus. 12.5 on the Stormcrow. I think we take the Stormcrow shot. Four points. Well, better than nothing. Yeah, so the airstrike, I think it happens at difficulty 11, which is like like five and a half skulls. So I guess it's just a way for the enemy to have an additional, uh, additional firepower against you, because I guess you can bring so much to bear against them. I mean, I know you can only drop up to 12, 12 guys at a time, but still, like... There's another Clint. So we're looking at three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there's the elementals, eleven. Yeah, there's probably more back there. All mediums. 
Man, I don't even know what to to. Let's just keep our evasion up. All right, I need to get some ER weapons on this thing. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. The airstrike idea is kind of interesting. I don't know how much more firepower it'll give them. But they could have, I mean, like, depending on the mission, they could have up to five lances of, like, you know, heavy max. And if you're facing Comstar, that's five times, you know, six units. So you're, like, facing, like, 30 guys. With a maximum, you can feel this 12. So you better have a lot of lasers that come with a lot of ammo. All right. Hoping we can get a lot. Uh, like, I'm hoping their vehicles move forwards. So we can get a lot of vehicle kills early on. Pull those guns off the field. Is that the LRM version? Nope. Now that has me worried. Pull almost APC. Probably has a lot of light machine guns. All right. Next turn. I'm here. Our only way down is over here. Hmm. I think we're going to try and go left here. All right, we got more sensors on here. Let's find out who they are. I think we're going to try and go this way. So that's the Kronos. So it is the four up here. Quick Cell, Scorpion. I'm not sure how they got one out here. Locust C. Let's go after the Clint, I guess. So I've got LBX-10 clan, ER medium. It can't be jammed. I mean, maybe... Okay. Maybe the weapon system is... I don't know. Who knows. Hopefully a bunch of these guys have got damaged weapons. It's pretty much what's going to save us at this point. If things go real bad, I am going to bail. Just to give you a, a heads up. I will bail from this one, but we'll see. I mean, things could go excruciatingly well for us. Like these could all be garbage pilots, in which case we could be uh, okay here. So we're going to fade left. I want to kill that Polymus. Whatever can show its face here, we'll kill. Um, like whatever we can kill in here, we'll kill. We're going to go left. I want to keep this hill, stop the direct fire from up here. We're going to come around, kill what we can back here, stop the direct fire, and we'll just kill, like, we'll hopefully be able to kill Ready piecemeal. Yeah, really. That's just against the elementals. That's not too bad. Let's get to there. On my way. Double time. <sighs> it's really going to depend on what these guys do. Like, if they rush me, I'm dead, right? Like, there's not much I can do about it. I'm going to go for the better of the two chances to hit. Land as many rounds as we can on all this. At least sentinels aren't really that heavily armored. The Clints aren't that heavily armored. The Storm Crow's 55 tons, so... I mean... I know they're always a beast to pull down. So we'll see how that goes. Locust C. Um, just the three energy hard points. Okay. Ready to get it on. If it's like an Inner Sphere Locust, it's not so bad. The Clan Locusts, on the other hand, are pretty freaking tough. Roger. Okay. Gonna expose a little bit here, but it gets me far forward. I'm in the trees. It gets me a good shot here, hopefully, on somebody. 55% on the Zephyr with a shit ton of armor. 
Um, not very good on you. 27, 29, 27. Now I think we go with the best chance to hit. Let's take this chance. Fire it all. We gotta land what we can. Nice hit. Beautiful. That's a turret hit. Well, somebody has some Klein Heavy Lasers. And that's why we can't expose ourselves. Let's go here. Do we have enough to do a... Uh, we do. Just to get us out of here next turn. We're going to shoot at this guy. Firing all weapons. Okay, we landed two. Not bad. So these, this Zephyr has probably got smaller micro lasers. Maybe. Oh, God. Man, my shoulder's killing me today. Ready for orders. I was not expecting a battle like this big. I foolishly decided to try a uh, a crip walk across no the living room, Got it. and I did my my side jump, going part part way across the living room, and I I have my socks on and I slipped. Um, do we fire everything at this guy? Let's save the ammo, we'll fire the lasers. Firing. Yeah, anyway, I went down hard. And my shoulder's bad at, at the at the best of times, and I just it I didn't land on this shoulder, but I just twisted it and it's like really on my right shoulder, it's really sore now. Okay, you drive in. Drive in and give us a shot at you, baby. Yeah, I I'm I'm not very good at, at sea walking. It's like I'm I'm old, number one. Number two, I'm completely out of shape. And while it's not like a um, super energetic um, expression, it's like if you're doing the side jump, you're trying to hop, <laughs> trying to hop to the side. It can be uh, interesting. God, this freaking hunter is gonna die. Hopefully, they're spreading the damage around. This hunter lasts Reporting. a little longer. Heavy damage. Yeah, I noticed. Got to get you out of there. Most of it's been to the front, so... So that's the guy we're going after this next turn. I think the Palemos has got, um... Down to 77 on the front. This guy's got some half-decent armor, if I remember correctly, but not from the back. So we're going to see if we can kill him from behind. So let's get behind him. Let's do this. I can get the thorn back there too. There's three lasers there. The hunter can get behind him with all the machine guns. Let's open up on him. But we should be able to kill this guy. This is, ooh, 62. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Enemy down. So it's probably all the vehicles are the support lance. Let's get you out of there. How many chevrons of evasion is this? Five. Now we don't have a weapon in our right arm. We have them in the left arm and the CT. So I can expose my right side a little bit to this guy. Not the greatest chance to hit, but we, at least we can get a shot off on him. Now he doesn't have that much armor for 40 oh, yeah. tons. Wow, nothing. All right. Oh, missed it. That's all right. That's all right. Just don't die. Stop shooting the hunter. I bet you it dies before it gets a chance to move. It's in a bad spot. Commander.
You know what? We're going to go in the, into the mineral field. It'll make it it's harder for us to hit, but it also makes it harder for them to hit me. So I think it's, we're better off going in there. 40, 16. Do we have a... The locust is here. 21. 35. But I think we go with the better chance to hit. Let's go after this guy. Tag, narc. Pulse lasers. That guy can do some damage. So let's just go after him. Well done with all oh yeah, man. Three, three shots with the Goss. Three hits. Beautiful. I could say I'm changing my mind about the Goss, but that would just be a mistake. Someone doesn't have a double heat sink kit. That's why he's heating up so badly. Keep heating up, buddy. It's just going to let give us a opportunity to get in to kill you. Can I get? I cannot. I was hoping to get down to get a shot against the uh, the Zephyr, but not going to happen. Now, where is that? I think we're better off going there. So let's go there. Maybe we can get a shot at one of the vehicles here. Let's see what our percentage is. Actually, so this is. Sentinel side shot, not too too bad. Scorpion quick sell, meh. That's not bad with the large pulse. LRM's not so great. 39, a little better with the LRM's on this guy. Um, that's the scorpion, eh? How much armor do you have? Not a lot in the back. Uh, I think we take the chance and try and kill this guy in one shot, so let's do it. Yeah, we got exposed structure, but not quite enough. Maybe we can finish him up really quickly. Oh, we gotta get across this friggin... <laughs> Every time that guy fires, I take a dump in my pants. That's like the worst draw we could get. On that storm crow. I'd almost, well, I don't know. The LRM version might be nasty too, but he's gonna run out of ammo eventually. Oh, shit, you and your melee. Are you? No. Oh, sorry, I thought you were over here. Nah, I forget it. Just forget, forget I'm talking. I know it's hard. Yeah, you stand the fire. Hunter still has to go. Let's get the hell out of there. Orders. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's annoying that it gives me the... Hey, you can shoot, but you can't shoot because you don't have a turret. I really want to get a shot off of that Zephyr, but... If I do I expose, I mean, that's an indirect shot, but. Understood. Moving fast. We'll just see what our chance to hit is. Pegasus Quick Cell. How much armor do you have? I have no idea, but 10% is not good enough to warrant a shot, I don't think. 24. Not going to get much there. 16, 29 on the Sentinel. It's not too bad. One in three. Yeah, I wish we could see this. Oh, this was the one that we hit. 24. It's not too bad. How much armor do you have left? 15? Oh. All right, we got one hit. Target's taking a critical hit. Not the best, but th if there was a small chance of getting it, I think I think it was a good choice to uh, give it a shot. Hopefully, the vehicles keep moving away from me. Okay. Systems holding. Ultra 5 is unjammed. 
Everybody but the Wavern will be, uh, wow, three hits, nice. Everybody but the Wavern will be behind this hill. Actually, we're going to come around as fast as we can to try and reveal to some of the other guys so they don't all shoot the Wavern. Yeah, you just run away. Yes, Commander. Can we get get a back shot in the Clint if we expose? Let's not expose. Let's say we did. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's get into here. Roll to that. Put some pressure on this guy. I don't know what we're going to do about that Stormcrow. Alright, nice two hits. I think we can get the, uh... I think we can get the, the, the um, the dagger. The locust around to get a shot that guy too this turn. Alright, Tuggy. I'm here. Field command, please. Yep. We might get lucky and hit the leg on that Clint. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's this guy. Ah, the leg's on the other side though. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, we got leg hits. Hit him with a bit of heat. Oh, nice. He's super toasty, so hopefully he won't shoot this turn. Oof, I wonder why you got I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Did he how I don't um uh, What? Wait. That wasn't the the corona that shot him, was it? Well, somebody's got jump jets. Was that the Corona that shot the Zephyr? I, I mean, I don't really care because he's pretty much given me a kill, but uh, I can't go there. As much as I want to go there. Twenty-nine, huh? I mean, I really should be trying to target this guy, but. I can't win a trade-off with him. <sighs> like if I trade shots, if he hits me... Uh... What about up here? I mean, that's a pretty good distance away from them. 35, 35, 27. On my Let's way. back Double up. Time. Get some height. Protect our Goss rifle a little bit. I mean, I really don't know who I should be going for here. 27. I mean, it's about the same as everybody else. 21. 35. I think we go against the best chance to hit, which is this guy. Hopefully we get something on him. Engaging. Yeah, nothing. It's fine. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. That's fine, I guess. I mean, I have to accept it, right? <laughs> I'm like, I have a choice. Oof, I can't be taking these hits. My armor is getting ripped off. I know. You're you're gonna be trapped on that side too. I I can't get you across here. Not without taking massive fire from this guy. God damn it. Uh 
I don't know if we have the firepower for this. Okay, as long as he's missing. We'll see how far we can sprint. I don't know why my initiative is freaking eight. Damage minimal. Ready for orders. Oh god, you can see me from there too though. I just don't know right now. I'm so unsure about this. Firing on this guy. Alright, we got a head hit. Nice. Do I run? Do I try? I mean, we'll see how far we can go, but... Fuck. No, we can't cross there. Armor blow through. Internal damage. We just don't have the numbers. That's the problem. Everyone's going before us. I just don't have the numbers. Yeah, I just don't have the numbers. Ready for orders. Okay, at a full sprint. Which we can't do, apparently. Because reasons. I don't even have enough resolve. So that's the left torso open, and I can't get... Oh, man. If I jump, I have to brace. If I walk, everybody shoots me. I mean, I guess we could move out here and expose the right side. I mean, it's technically less people that can directly see me. We'll do this. Position that should confirmed. drop all that instability, or pretty much all of it. Yep. Yeah. Garbage. Garbage. That will overheat us, though. So we want to minimize our shot here. That's 30%. It's not too bad, I guess. Turn off the ER small. Go this route. Twelve points. Oh boy. Well, hopefully he jumps off of there. Okay, what's our initiative this time? 13 is a little better. Fuck no. That's what now. Let's get rid of this guy if we can. Fifty. Uh, I gotta land the shots, so let's just shoot him. Okay, so that goes his main weapon. So he's pretty much out of the battle. He didn't expect that. Now, is he a stick? Well, not a stick, but a weaponless stick. No, he's still got... He's still got lasers. So we've got to kill him. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Hmm... Twenty nine on the Storm Crow. Twenty four on this guy. 
Just move down to the trees. Twenty-seven, twenty-one. Still, still the same. I mean, if we hit this guy, it's a kill shot if we hit him CT. Let's see if we can get him. I copy. Nope. Oh, come on. Tell me about it. Okay. Hunter's still in the fight, barely, but it's still in the fight. I want to see if I can get him around to shoot this guy. Well, yeah, we have to. Wait, where are you? Sure. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, well, not much I can do about it. Not much I can do about it at the moment. So you can get behind here. I'm you here. first. Okay, I gotta move and not shoot anybody. Well, directly that is, but we gotta get we gotta get out of there. Cannot stay there. Mustn't tarry. Ten. Seventeen. Man, I don't know. Take the best. Why, why not? Maybe we can get him to bail out. That's not bad for hits. Reporting. Critical hit. Well, he's stressed at least. We still have our thorn that can shoot him in the back. And the hunter. We can get the hunter over there. Okay, I think you're jammed. Standing by. Really? Ooh, 78. I think that's a backstrike, too. Let's take that shot. If we can get rid of this guy, that would be nice. Ah, uh, 48. Really? That's a huge difference. Firing on rear arc. Nice. Destroyed. Yeah, so there's five in that one. Commander. Okay, we're gonna pull back here because I want to go after this Holy locust. God. I want to try and nip their speed in the bud if I can. Give them the less ability to be able to strike my main guy back here. Yeah, a lot of nothing. It's fine. That did not hit. It did not. You've been completely unre unreliable this whole fucking match, except for a few ba back strikes. So hopefully we can capitalize on that, on that again. Okay, the less they shoot, the good more good news that is for me. Yeah, he's not going to come down off there. Which means at the end, we're going to have to push him. We're still up by four. Hey. I want to bring you back, too. I mean, the option is to bring him back and try and go after, or... Yeah, if this guy gets hit, he's just toast.
22 chevrons of evasion. So if I'm going to do that, i got to make sure I'm close to this Clint. And nobody else can see me like that. Copy. So it's only the one guy. Let's just go after this guy. Get some damage in on him if we can. Alright, a little bit of heat on him. Let's keep him toasty. Hopefully we get lucky and he shuts down. I don't know about that. That round looked like it went right past them. But okay, we'll give it to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I don't think I want to... Oh man, slightly bad. I'm not gonna poke my head out that much. Copy that. All it's gonna take is that as just a little bit of movement from the storm crow to get a shot at me, so just go after the locust, see if we can chase him off. Them oh for fuck's sakes. Reporting negative. Just damage. one hit. One. Land something, please, anything. Spit on him if you have to. I don't care. Just land something. Yeah, chase him away. Good. Yeah, there's three of us here now. That's right, buddy. You take off. If this sentinel lands a shot on you, you're freaking toast. He's got to be running an XL, I think, with all those pulse, pulse lasers. Maybe not. But his armor is half decent, so like, my guess is that he is running a pulse laser. How many rounds have I got left? 11? Moving out. I think it's worth taking another shot at him. If we can core him in one shot, that would be nice. 29%. Just hit, please. Acknowledged. Fuck sakes. You too? No joy. Really? I couldn't tell. Oh, Pegasus is coming in now. I think hasn't fired yet. I'm wondering if its weapon systems are working. Or it might be streaks. Yeah, see? That Stormcrow, if I had moved forward that he may have gotten a shot on me with that thorn. Of the top here. He moved over, so. I wonder what this thing's got. It could be streaks. Incubus. Commander. Why is it such a bad chance to hit? That puts my guy right between me and him. It's just garbage. I mean, like... Well, we gotta try something. Keep that right side turned to this guy. On my way. Gotta try something. Let's go with all the lasers, see if we can get something going on this guy. Engaging with ah, medium pulse hit. That's it, eh? At least he's standing in fire. That's something. Yes, Commander. No way I can get a direct line. Oh, there is. This thing's hurt, though, but I don't really care at this point. That's not wow. Well, really? Really? Well, we're going to shoot it. Ooh, structure exposed. Okay. Where, though? Hopefully it's a leg. It's not back torso. Okay. Ooh. Um. Okay, he didn't do anything. 
We might be able to get the back of this guy with the locust. Shit, these guys are coming around now. Okay, that's a uh, chem laser, I think. Heavy chem laser. Ballistic and energy, so probably a heavy chem laser and a machine gun? Club, no. Let's get down here. Affirmative. Should keep us in enough cover. See if we can get lucky in the back of this guy. Okay. Wow. Wow, man. RNG RN Jesus is murdering us today. We did okay for the first three turns and then it was then it's just been nothing. Nothing but air. Oh shit. Okay, hopefully we can just put a round straight through that guy. Okay, he's super hot. What's up, boss? 35. 42 in the locust. Just get over here. The locust hasn't gone yet. Let's get him out of here if we can. And we'll worry about the incubus next turn. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, man. <sighs> but I wouldn't give for an Ultra 5 right about now. Standing by. All right, well. Good shot on that guy, so let's take it. And we'll take the heat. Let's go with everything. Just do as much damage as guys we possibly can early. Okay, not bad. I'm tempted to send the thorn over to try and step... Oh, he's going to go away. I was going to say, I was tempted to send the thorn over to try and step on that guy, but if he's going to leave, then that's fine. Well, it's nice to know that the locust can, like, not move and I can't hit him. I know it's a sensors game and everything, but still. Slightly better height, too, but not much, you know? Alright, firing on him. Sure. I don't even know why I pulled the trigger. No joy. She's just like, ah, I don't really feel like fighting today. Just gonna run around, pull triggers, and... Like, this battle... <laughs> I should have had at least two more mechs done by now. You know? Commander. Don't you think? Okay, that's a back shot in the Locust. Twenty-seven percent. I'm taking it. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Okay, not bad. Reporting critical hit. Stressing out now. As well you should, buddy. As well you should. Fucking storm crows moving in. No! Stay back there. Let's hit him hard. I guess he's technically out of his sniper's nest now, so. Fuck. That shot went internal. Yeah. I'm here.
Yeah, I don't know. We might get lucky here. And we got the large chem laser vehicle to worry about though. I mean, I'd love to get a back shot in this Sentinel. But being super bold at this moment is not really the way to go. Well, the Stormcrow, uh, Stormcrow can move to probably about to here next turn. Which means me being anywhere where they can see across is a, not a good idea. Advancing. Alright. Let's take the chance. Try and kill this locust. If we can get these two lights off us that are pinning us down up here, then, um... Okay, nice. Yeah, he's running XL. Enemy mech destroyed. All right, we got that guy gone. Got something you want done? Don't even move. Just give it to him. Locking in all weapons. For fuck, really, really, really. Damn it. Where's my goss peeps now, you guys? <laughs> It was great for three turns, and now it's just been nothing. Nothing but air. You'd think out of all those, even like lower percentage chances to hit, I would have hit at least My one. Are taking a beating. Out of like five or whatever it has been. Just one is all I'm asking for. That's a lot for like 17 tons in total. I'm getting killed for stuff. Oh, fuck. Hunter's gonna die. Internal structure damage. Yeah, I eat you the hell out of there. Orders. No more direct fire for you. Affirmative. Man, this is just going to be a lot of like it's hide and seek at this me at this point. Once they start to thin. Right? Once they start to thin. Alright, we got one that time. Nice. At least something. Right, they're down five. So they're down to what, nine now? That guy's not doing anything. So I'm not sure what he's carrying. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. Yeah. That guy's the guy that terrifies me the most. Like, if we can position ourselves... Fuck. Make sure nobody can see me. Let's move. They're gonna fire an artillery round off at this guy, so... Not much I can do about that. 29 on you. Uh... 4. Nope, let's just shoot at the artillery mech. He's just decided he's going to stay up there, and I don't blame him. Taking the shot. Wait, that's an LB-10? Why is it Orders. clustering for one, then? How the fuck is that possible? Acknowledge. I don't know what that, that uh, guy over there has got on him. Okay, that's actually pretty good numbers. Let's take them. Okay. Scored a critical hit. Opens them up for a good gosh strike. Let's see if we can uh, land that. Actually, that'll be next turn. Okay, who's up? Tugboat. All right. What? No. Can't get on this side of them. Stormcrow's decided to, like, come down to fight, and I don't like that. Let's get to here. Okay. Shouldn't be able to see us even if he comes around. We're kind of down behind a hill here. That sentinel, though, if he pushes us, will be an issue. Okay, 
Okay, he's going on 10. That was a head hit. So is it less than 10 now? No? It's okay, our Goss goes on 18 or 19. Standing by. Let's give that um, Clint something else to shoot for. I kept thinking it was an artillery piece. I mean, he's in a good position up there. All right, land the shot, please. Firing all weapons. Are you fucking kidding me? Did we hit with that, or did it, did it? Did we not? I don't think we did. At least it didn't look like we did. Well, you had the angle. Hopefully he runs out of ammo. That would be nice. We gotta get the fuck out of there. That storm crow coming. Can't be anywhere near there. Okay, so the storm crow moved from like here to there. Which means it could move back and take a shot at me if I'm up here. Not gonna get a kill on this though. So, oh man. We're in such a weak position here. I can't stay over there. There's no way I can stay over there. Back over here. Such a weak position on that side. I'll take a pot shot at this guy. He's got a missile launcher of some kind, but I have no idea what it is. Could be a streak six or something. Or maybe it's some kind of crazy ass quick sell something or other. Who knows? Commander. Okay, let's save the missiles. Where do we go for a headshot? Because he's down to two. Let's see if we can get a headshot. Don't think he's going very far, even if he does get up. Okay, the Pegasus is rolling away. Next kill's got to be this Ultra 5 Sentinel. Okay, Stormcrow is... Okay, sitting there. Do we have anybody? We don't have anybody left. So let's see what he does. At least he's sitting in fire too, so that helps. Okay. Hey. Okay. They're consolidating, they're positioning, we're gonna do the same on this side. I'm gonna save my initiative till next turn. Is accurate, I'll give him that. Cluster weapons, man, that's what I want for this thing. Ultra 10 on this on the uh, Sentinel would have done so much more for us at this point. Commander. I mean he did he's done fairly well, don't get me wrong, but good to go. Not actually doing any damage against a lot of mechs. It's been an issue for the past few turns. Okay, you hit your good side. Location confirmed. We're gonna do some trades. Got seven rounds left. 
okay this is the last low percentage chance we take and everything else we'll just uh we'll save till we have a good percentage Affirmative. okay nice there goes the lbx critical hit commander okay i don't have to worry about him for now finally we hit that low percentage chance i don't know what that guy's got on him oh what the fuck is he using light damage commander he's finally shooting though ready for orders I copy. Don't know how much armor he's got, but we're just going to go lasers. I got to save the missiles for Roger. the really important mechs and the, and the times we got to pour in a lot of damage. Okay, that's not too bad. 32 points. Man, I don't know what we're going to do. We gotta take some chances, I guess. We're low on Gauss ammo. Low on LRM and SRM ammo. This guy's coming back in for another shot, eh? He's pretty much giving himself to us. I was resigned to actually having to go down there to finish him off. I thought about sending My both the... Uh, yeah, I know. thought about sending the Locust and the uh, Thorn down here to try and finish him up. This guy's been sitting in the mineral field too the whole time. Okay, Stormcrow's putting himself out of position. I'm here. It's probably gonna come down to the locust and the thorn at the end here. And how much backstriking we can do on the uh, Stormcrow. If we can get through all this. Okay, firing everything. That's it for him. I got this. You did. Orders. Good to go. Running a little bit of a risk going across after this guy, but if I can clear him out, then we've got them in the valley and that's it. Let's work on killing this guy. Got pretty chunky armor. It's a lot chunkier, especially if you can't fucking hit. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the fucking simulator. Like, a lot of time. I can't shoot by my guy over there. Then do I... Stormcrow's out of position, I mean... Nah, I don't want to expose myself to... Too much... Fire... So let's just do this for the moment. Copy that. Engaging target. Nice. Finally hitting. I'm here. So that's our left side. Jeez, we can't even back up like one hex. Man, we're in such a bad position. I don't like this, but we're going to give it a shot. Gonna give it a shot on this guy here. I call it. SRM six quick cell. Okay, whatever that is. Guy's got a lot of armor. It's probably why he hasn't been hitting. He just hasn't had the opportunity to hit us. <laughs> Fucking course. <laughs> Slowly losing armor now. Now do I chase this guy and try and squash him? He's going to come back at the most inopportune time, though. So they're down six, we're down one. This guy's got to go next. But he's like... 
He knows what he's doing, man. He's staying right where I can't get him. Oh, there's the Zephyr. So who did you blow up earlier? Hey. Hey. They're definitely utilizing the terrain to the maximum advantage, that's for sure. I wonder if that um, Clint is giving them an eye in the sky. I wonder if we need to pull him down. You know what I mean? Like he could be giving them good uh, visual. Here we go. Really? Nothing at 42%? Okay. Receiving you. Try for a kill in the Clint. Forty-eight. Engaging with target. Nope. I don't know what that fucking Corona has got, though. Nope, this guy's got a sight on me from there. Like, I got the movement. I just don't have the angles at the moment. That storm crow coming down really threw a wrench in my my plan here because he's cut off this whole back area. I can't go back there now. Good to go. Fuck, of course. Like I mean, if I rush around there and try and kill him, the rest of them will just dogpile me, right? And it's he's going to take a lot of work to bring him down. Like I'm pretty sure his back armor is like 55 or something like that. So even trying to backstab him is going to be really, really hard. And I'm going to be exposed to those two heavy clan lasers continually. And I'm sure he's got other lasers as well. Now the, the Locust Flamers might be able to get some work in. It'll keep them heated up, but I doubt it because there's just not enough of them. Orders. And with my heavy mech here, like basically unable to, to engage without like fear of dying... Here's the question. Do I call that a victory? I, call me. I mean, we won't get anything. If I... Ah, if, oh, man. Like, killing the primary lance would be nice. But it's, it's so annoying that they got reinforcements off of that. Okay. What now? They are in such a good position. Like, I'd love to just be able to rush these guys.
Like, I don't know if this sentinel was gone, if it was going to make any difference. We can get behind the rock up here. But then we're in prime attack space of that Zephyr. That's not too bad. I don't think the Stormcrow would get a shot at us here either. Is that enough here to stop from a backstrike? I don't know if it is. I think I would want to be further forward. Well, we gotta get something moving. We gotta do something. We gotta get it moving. If we're gonna do it, let's do it. Yeah. Go after this guy. You say so. Oh man, it's we're getting so weak on our chance to hit. Good to go. Acknowledged. We get lucky and hit the top. Maybe even this side at 42%. We gotta do something. Spot done, rear armor. No, fuck. Fail to connect. They just won't move out of their positions. That's what's so frustrating is these two guys just won't move. They're controlling the center of the map board. I mean, it's a good play. Like, it's it's tactically sound. It makes perfect sense. But it just does nothing but hinder me. I can't... Like, I mean, I can't get in here. Because that sentinel can come around and shoot me in the back. I mean, we can't point blank the sentinel either because it's got, like, massive firepower. I mean, we could melee it. Seventy-one percent. Let's go. We're gonna get something going. Let's get something going. Even with him losing evasive, you only land one, eh? Okay. But at least one landed. Pew. And of course he hits. Can't afford to get hit by a laser. Yeah. Can't afford to get hit by anything. They're shooting at me. Yep. They are. I go on 13, which means that Sentinel goes before me, yeah. We'll get his stability back. Ooh. Armor breach. Internal damage. Shit, here he comes. Fuck. We gotta go. We gotta go. The withdraw button. Five turns, eh? Standing by. See what we can claim in five turns, but I, I'm there's no way I'm risk. Like I don't have it. There's no way I can do it. Not against the fully operational Stormcrow. Fire all this though. Firing. A if that Stormcrow wasn't there, yeah, totally different situation. 
he just has to land one good shot, he just messes he just messes us up, right? So it's like I can't. Ah, these two fucking sentinels. They're just in perfect positions, you know? Kudos to them though. I'm here. They certainly position themselves very well. Oh boy. Here Don't know if that's an go. AI thing or if it's just a um I mean I guess it has to be. But they just kind of got a good sense of the terrain and they just realized that sitting in the mineral fields, it's like, why do they have to move out? They don't have to, why would they have to leave? They're going to get just as much an evasion as they would sitting in a mineral field, so... Stand still, you get a better chance to hit and Just hang out there, you control the center of the map board and... Nothing I can do about it. Wait, did you hit me or your own guy? I thought you hit me. We got that guy over there. How far can we go over here? Oh, pretty good. Nice. Good to go. God, he sounds just he just sounds broken now. <laughs> he just sounds broken. We should be able to bail out of this one. It's a terrible loss, but I mean... Standing by. There's no way I'm risking my guys for that Stormcrow. We barely have like three months in uh, in wages. Did I just put myself between... Oh, for fuck's sakes. 78% though. What could go wrong? Target acquired. There we go. Well, that was part of the main lance. It's probably these two sentinels down here that are part of the main lance. If I had to wager, that's what it would be. Yeah, look at this, it's not even going to move out of there. That Stormcrow's in a position now where he's like... He can shoot anything that moves over here. Okay, what's... What can we possibly get a kill on? We might, I mean, we might get a kill on this guy if we hit his turret. Let's just, I'll lob my, the rest of my LRMs at him, see if anything can happen. No. Yeah, whatever. That would, that would clear off the support lance if we can kill this guy, but there's no way we can do it now. Not unless we had follow the leader and they all hit that turret. But it is what it is. Hey. All right. Um, yeah, let's get all the way over here. Going as fast as I can. The storm crow could probably get a shot at me if he pushed really hard. Like if it pushed up here really hard, it could probably get a shot. But we don't have the juice to exchange fire with, with that 55 ton, or not with what he's got on him. Ready to get it on. All right. Let's see if we can get a shot at this guy. Gonna take it. Locking on target. Ooh, nice hit. Yeah, now now that we're leaving, now that I said we're just not gonna do much. Receiving you. We'll land everything at this point. Just pull over here. Good to go. Yeah, could you imagine if we tried to rush that valley? I don't know, like, I mean, this thorn, we're going to get rid of the thorn and replace it with the mislinks. So, I mean, that'll be slight, that'll be a slight upgun, something that can stick up with the locust and, and keep the same amount of damage out, output as the locust. So, yeah, maybe Standing by. if we had that, we would give it a shot, but, um, I don't know. Let's just drop stuff on the Zephyr, see if we can get a kill on him. Unlikely, but you never know. Nope. 
Not today. I'm out of LRMs. That's all right. I wonder if we can get the uh, the Sentinel up to get a pot shot out, off at him. Oh, he's moving forward. Oh, he's not. Okay. I was going to say, we, he's moving forward. We might be able to get a shot at him, but it's unlikely. Orders. we got two rounds to wait. Uh, can I get a direct line of sight on anybody? I cannot. I'm going to move over here, though. Confirmed. Okay, let's go. Just waiting for pickup now. Okay, yes, how many commander. rounds you got? Two. That exposes the Gauss rifle, though. There's no way we can get a sneaky shot in. That'll expose us to the Storm Crow, though. As much as I want to fire, I don't want to lose the mech, so let's just sit here. I can't afford to lose the mech. I can afford to lose this match, I just can't afford to lose the mech. Alright, hang out. See, last turn, see if they push us. This guy's gonna push, though. Might get the kill on him this turn. It's interesting that that thing's a streak, but it doesn't, like, do a lot of damage. I'd be interested to know what it is. Maybe it's just the type of ammo it has? I don't know. Okay, Zephyr's backing up. I was hoping he was going to back into the fire, but... Nope. Okay, last round. What now? Uh, can that storm crow get around to see us? I don't think he can. Um. Uh, oh man, I really want to reserve. See where he goes, and then everybody get a shot at him before we get out of here. I mean, it's not going to matter, though. Like, we're not going to get any salvage out of this anyway, so why do that? I'm here. Why, uh, why, do, why risk myself? There's no point. But we can see if we can kill this guy. He's giving himself I to us, so let's see what we can get. Flamer hit. And he's sitting in fire. It's nice. A lot of frontal damage. Got something you want done? Yeah, I need this fucking quick sell piece of junk I murdered. Do you think you can do it? Without getting murdered yourself? Here it comes. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nope. I think that's even moving up too far. Yeah, that's moving up too far. Uh, there's no way I can stay behind the hill over here and shoot, eh? Okay, I call that's bullshit. They can see me for sure. They'd definitely be able to see me for sure here. Yeah, I'm not risking it. Keeping not for the sake of killing one quick cell vehicle. Forget that. Yeah, you drive away. You get to live you get to live today. Alright. Ready for orders. Should be able to bail out this turn coming up. Man, that's that's kind of sucky. We did okay though. I mean, we killed like what eight? No, sorry, four, seven, and lost one. So that's pretty good. 
they just have the they just they they just have the firepower to keep us pinned down. There's not much I can do about it. I'm okay with withdrawing. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna cost 130 grand. Fine. Commander is ordering us to retreat. Yeah, every once in a while you draw those missions where it's like there's not much you can do against the volume of mechs there are. And I could have done I could have done the same thing that I did in Inheritance and just kind of gone for it and. Maybe got wiped out, but we've already been butchered so many times we were <laughs> we're low on stock of stuff, so and sitting in clan space I just couldn't jeopardize it. When we got you know half decent mechs coming up, we got a little bit of experience out of this. What did we lose? I really hope the hunter didn't get completely obliterated, but I think it did. I think our pilot was killed too. Cause it certainly sounded that way. Alright, we didn't lose any components. Um Yeah. Lost our pilot. We'll see if we lost the mech, though. Yeah, that's really sucky. Ah, but what do you get? I mean, it was I, I was concerned because it was... Well, we do get one piece of salvage. Um, I was concerned because we were against... Um, we were against the clans at one skull, and I was like, I don't know, man. It's going to be like a really iffy thing. Okay, SR, a small SRM-6 is nice. One and a half tons. That's definitely an upgrade for the... Uh, oh, there's a Klein XL too. We've got three of them, though. We may need to just take it for C-Bills for the loss. we got the heat sink kits. We're good there. Well, we don't really have three because one of them belongs to the... Uh, the Duelist. So let's take that. See what if we get anything else here. Some armor, which we can just straight up sell. A Locust part. And some heat sinks, which um, let's just hang on to them for now. Oh, well, we got eight. We'll get rid of them. They're not. I mean, heat sinks are so cheap now. It's like I don't mind ditching them. Yeah. Okay. Well, sixty-four thousand in repairs too. So we lost like three hundred grand on that one. But we made it when the XL engine XL engine is worth like three hundred and fifty thousand or something if we sell it. So we didn't really lose that much. We got two months left of uh, financial report, but we should easily be able to get some more Clan XLs in the next little bit to make up for that problem. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see. Let's go to the um, Mech Bay real quick. I meant to check it before we we um, we clicked OK, but the uh, the Locust C. I'm interested to see uh, what was on that. As far as hard points, one ballistic, three laser. All right, so it's not as good as ours. PA's got two missile, one laser. All right, so it's not. A, I mean, the C is not as good as the one that we had, but I mean, it. They did a pretty good job of uh, upgunning that thing. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, not much we can do about what happened. I feel pretty good about bailing out, though. I mean, could have tried to. St Ooh, excuse me. Could have tried to stay and could have tried to fight it out, but I think that if we if we had done that, we would have just lost everything. That Stormcrow man, like the LRM, I think it's like is, there's one with a pair of LRM 15s and like, I think it's got like four ER medium lasers as well. That would have been bad because the ammo on it's actually half decent, but it would have run out of ammo at a certain point and it would have been far less threatening as those uh, large improved heavy lasers. And they were they were the uh, the improved ones because we were they were still hitting for max damage at at, at range so it would have been just a I, I could just imagine trying to close with that thing with everything else shooting at us we would have had to strip away all its protection first before going after it and those two sentinels in the valley and that Clint up on the hill they just would not go away so thinking back I mean I guess maybe. If I even if I had focused down the Clint on the hill earlier, we still had to contend with their light mechs pushing us and the vehicles pushing us, which wasn't so bad. But the two Sentinels with the Ultra Fives controlling that valley, and then the vehicles, like the Zephyr was there with all the medium pulse lasers, and I had no idea what that um, what those elementals had. So I mean. Closing, 
and then having them fire a whole bunch of lasers or SRMs or something at me could have been a bad bad time as well. But they were just in such a position that if I tried to dart into backstab, they could just backstab me and that would be it. I would lose a mech because, you know, Locust at 20 tons and, and uh, or 25 tons and the Thorn at 20 tons. Not much back armor, so... Anyway, yeah, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm okay with the bailing out. We did all right, I guess, but it could have been a little better. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we got to, I got to, I got to think about how we have our loadouts. Because if we're going to end up with engagements like that, we're going to need weapons that are going to last longer. And that Sentinel, as much as the Gauss rifle hit for some nice hard damage, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, especially at lower levels, having smaller damage but consistent hits where we can exploit targets. It's like so like the reason why I like the cluster weapons so much is as soon as you've opened something up, you've got a good chance to crit and um and take torsos or legs or stuff with a with a uh with a cluster round more so than you do with a direct fire single shot. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is there anything I could have done differently in that match to come out on top? I don't know. It's a it's a frustrating one. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.